God. Hallelujah. 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 I stand here to testify about the living God. Amen. Amen. The living God in heaven. Amen. I've struggled for over 25 years. I've gone through a journey with a lot of problems. And I would stand here to say that Pastor Morabe is a man of God. Yeah. When I was newly married, that was around the year to 1998. The year 2000, I lost my child. That was my second born. 2001, I lost another child. Then, in the year 2004, I conceived my son, that is my fourth, my fifth born. And I went through a lot of challenge. I stayed in hospital at Tabaka for nine months. And when I was bearing that child, I went through Sicilian after giving four children through successive births. But in the year 2004, I went through a very dangerous Sicilian, but the baby survived. He's joining university this year. <laughs> then after that, the same thing recurred. My last born, who is uh, in Form 3 right now, I went through the same. Then in the year 2009, I lost my loving husband. And after three weeks, when I resumed the church, Pastor Morabe came and preached in our church. I was still very young, a very young widow, left with very tiny children. My child was suckling. And Pastor Morabe, I was in, in a pool of tears. Uh, when he preached, I told him, Pastor, I've lost my husband. I don't have a hope. How can you help me? I told him, my son is in Form 3. He's in a national school. What is going to happen? Pastor Morwabe told me he is going to get an A. And in the year 2010, the boy sat for KCSE. He got an A of 87 points. Then from there, I want to stand here giving a testimony about this man of God. I've never lost his number since the year 2009. And then I've walked that journey, tears, my eyes filled with the tears. One of our mama and our baba I'm here to stand as a living testimony. I've, I've served God throughout my life, but I'm telling you, it has not been like the past one year when I've been in this church. <coughs> now, to cut the long story short, last year, I was writhing in pain. I developed a backache problem in the year 2013 when I was knocked by a motorbike. Then from there, my back had a problem and I've been booked for an, uh, a surgery at Moiri Farron. Then last year, I was walking to Krista Marian so that I can be given that referral to go to Moi Referral Hospital to be operated. And then I met my sister, a long-term friend, Sister Jane, where are you? Are you in the church? Yes, that lady. I met her where she does her business. And then I could not be able to walk. Jenna Kaniambia rose. That time, Pastor had a, there was a kind of crusade. Then she gave me a small amount of anointing oil. Akanipaka tu kwa mgu, nilikuwa na chomeka. 
Akanipaka, akaniambia pumzika. Ruth, you are going to die and leave your children. Then she invited me to come here. I came that time and I worshipped with you. Then the devil started wrestling with me. Then immediately after that, that was the year, uh, that was last year, my father became very sick. He stayed in ICU, but unfortunately we lost him. Then after losing him, before we lost him, I was again involved in another motorbike accident. Then, ilikuwa kidogo tu ikaniangusha mwenye pikipiki ya kaniatia, but the, uh, uh, nikaumia vibaya. And I showed some pastors in the church, mgu wangu ulikuwa vibaya. Then I received information, I was seated at that part of the, the, the church, kwamba babangu amekufa. Then I left before telling pastor. Tukaenda tukazika baba yangu. And then pastor you sent this church. Ikakuja, it stood with me. When I lost my father, that was November 19th last year, you came and stood with me. Then my mother could ask me, my daughter, we ni mtoto wa mungu, ni kama ukona mungu. And then after that, I've stood here. Then last week, as pastor said, surrender all that you have. Tutatua mababo yetu yote. I gave everything that I had in my pocket. Nikafuliza bagi yangu. And I told my children, I don't know how we are going back home. But believe you me. As we were walking, I met a friend who gave me 500 shillings, which we used to go home. Then after that, kufika nyumbani ni kapata my son, amekuja, he had done shopping, na akanini, what am I saying? Yani, he gave me 6,000 to do something that was last Saturday. And then, on on Tuesday, I called you, and I told you I stand here. See your drama, see Mzaha, but I'm here as a living testimony. I'm saying that this living God that we worship, the Father who created heavens and earth, that is the God that Pastor uh, worships. I stand here saying that we have a hope. I could not sleep. Yani singe weza kulala. Usiku ninapiwa, ninachapwa, mapepo yananisumbwa. But for the past one week, I've had a peaceful night's sleep. Hey! Ani sijawai. Ata sahi ni kiongea, ni kona usingizi. Yani nasikia ni lale, ni lale, ni lale. My place of work, I could not. Yani singe ongea na mtu. But I stand here to say that I'm a friend to everyone and I know that God is yes. Pigia Yeshu makofi mazuri kama unaamini Bwana amefanya. Hallelujah.